Um, and so um, this is for Caroline, whose birthday it was last week. And uh, I said to her, what cake do you like? You know, do you like carrot cake? And I bought this mixture a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, this is a perfect time to do some cake. So uh, let's get cracking with it then, guys. Um, so this this is just a, mi a mix. It's got wheat flour. Uh, it's got, it's like just basically a carrot cake mix, 350 grams. It's got wheat flour in. It's got sugar, cinnamon in, mixed spice, ginger, obviously carrots. How much carrots are in here? Let's have a look. Does it say how many carrots? Um, even though it's a carrot cake, it's just carrot cake mix. So I don't know if I don't know if there's any carrot in this at all. To be honest with you, <laughs> it'd be quite funny if there wasn't any carrot. It doesn't say carrot on there. Just mix. Oh, so eight percent carrot. So it's only eight percent carrot. The rest is mixed spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, coriander, uh, cassia, ginger, cardamom, cloves. And then we're going to make a nice icing sugar, which uh, is in the box. So this is the bag, 350 grams. And then we've got the icing sugar in here. It's going to be baked in a cake tin, this one here. Uh, I'm going to pop some parchment paper in there as well. Put it in the oven. Or you can do it in there. I'm going to do it in the Food Ninja, actually, on the bake setting. Uh, and it needs to go on for 18. Oh, no, not 18. Uh, oh, it doesn't tell me how long for some reason. Oh, 35 minutes, it says. That's quite a long time. Hello, Jay, good to see you. Carrot cake is so healthy. It is, it is. So um, I'm going to eat, I probably, I'm going to cut it up once it's cooked, once it's baked, let it cool down, and I have it with a nice cup of coffee. And this is actually the choice I go for when I'm in a coffee shop. So if I ever treat myself to a cake, it's always carrot cake or cheesecake. So carrot cake is one of my favourites, uh, but I've never made it before. So let's let's get started then. So uh, let's get started. I'll spin you down. Hello, Claire. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, a cream cheese icing. Now we're going to make a vanilla icing. And all you need is three eggs, seven tablespoons or 100 millilitres of vegetable oil. Hello, Paddy. Good to see you. Uh, and 50 grams of soft butter. So that's all we need. This is what it's going to look like. Fingers crossed. I don't know. Can you hear music? Can you hear music in the background? Can you hear a voice in the background? Just checking if it's if you if you can't hear it, that's good. If you can hear it, then I don't want my voice to interrupt. You can't hear it. Okay, it's good. It's just um, there is a radio on in the background, but it's quite loud. So um, right, let's get cracking then. Let's get cracking. So uh, it says preheat the oven. If you're going to use the oven, always start with that first. I don't actually have my apron. Let's get my apron. I should have put this on first, guys. I've got my shorts on again. <laughs> it's quite warm today. It's about 18 degrees so far. So uh, there's no voices. You better see your pharmacist. Oh, no, sorry, not pharmacist, psychiatrist. <laughs> now, there is definitely, there's a radio on because uh, it's Good Friday, which means... Everyone is at home, and that therefore means everybody is doing jobs at home, such as grass cutting. And grass cutting can make a lot of noise. So there we go. Let's put on this. I've got on the nice. Do you like my pinny? This is my pinny. <laughs> uh, no meat, says Patty. So, okay, let's get started then. I'm going to spin you down. We're going to need three eggs for this. So we've got some three eggs. So let's put that to one side. We're going to get our bowl. Let's spin you down so you can see. Now, Jay did an amazing job yesterday. We we helped him out a lot because there was a bit of a, a setup. Oh, my phone's not charging. So is it going to charge up? Let me just try this lead again. If this doesn't charge up, then I'll have to take with me. Oh, oh my days. I had to even unplug. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I really don't. I'm starting to maybe not trust this tripod anymore. One second, guys. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. It's tight. It's definitely tight, but it fell down because. But it's just not. Ah, it's the that's oh no, it's the sticker part. Okay. Sorry, everybody. Jay's gonna. Are you cooking today, Jay? Are you cooking? So we're gonna. This is the lead, and it doesn't always charge my phone up. But what I did was I I got a little bit of dust out of inside the phone, with a little pin.
Now you just you left your bangs long. Do you mean the fringe or the fringe? Yeah, because I tried to think what that meant the other day. I thought, bings, bangs. Uh, is it going to charge up? Okay, we're charging. Let's spin you down. Hopefully, it will uh, stay charging. Stay charging. Stay charging. Are we good? Yes. Thank you, guys. Right, so first thing then, we're going to add in this cake mix. So empty the cake mix into a bowl, and then we're going to add the eggs. So let's get a pair of scissors so I don't get cake mixture everywhere. Okay, that's what it looks like. Can you see you guys in there? So, oh, it smells nice. So it's quite, there's a few lumps in there, like lumpy bits. So let's just get a uh, wooden spoon. So we're doing carrot cake, guys. If you've never made a carrot cake before, I can smell, it's all the spices, like the nutmeg and the, always, always whenever you're looking at a recipe or not just a recipe, but a, a a cake mix have a look at in the ingredients to see what's in there because then you might be able to uh, it'll help you next time you make it if, if you do it yourself so we're just getting that flour just breaking it up make sure it's nice and light just like that okay we're going to add the eggs so it wants all three eggs three medium eggs so let's add this in so it's, this mix is supposed to be really really easy to do uh let's put my knife Bangs is a fringe in American and the sound of our guns. I heard about that. Yeah, somebody said there's like something in America. If you go into a, an, a, a Walmart or something and you ask for something, they would take you to the uh, gun section. I can't remember what it was. There's, a, there's another name for guns, like the gun side, that we would say different over here. Okay, so that's one egg. Let's get our second egg. Try not to move my wire too much. So it keeps charging. Two eggs. How's um how's Boston today, Jay? Not Boston, <laughs> Branson. Sorry, Br Branson, Missouri. How's Branson today? And how is Florida, Paddy? How's Florida? You still need to go to that um British cafe that I told telling you about. I'm uh, not the best at doing eggs. I haven't done eggs for ages. Ah, there's going to be a shell in this. Let's <sighs> get it in. There's a bit of shell. I can take it out. I can get it out. <laughs> Caroline's going to be watching this now and she'll, uh, she'll be like, I'm not having that now. It's got eggs. It's got eggshells in. <laughs> we will dig them out. Don't worry. Let's just grab them. Get a little teaspoon. Because this is what cooking's all about, isn't it? It happens to us all. My hands are clean, guys. Oh, no, I've lost it now. Yeah, dear. There it is. Come on. This is not going very well, is it? I'm going to have to just dig it out of my fingers. That's one. It's the last thing you want is people choking on a bit of eggshell. And there's one more. I saw one more somewhere. Just there. I think that's it. I was a little bit there. Sorry, guys. It's not something you want to see. It's me digging out eggshells. But that's that's the whole what happens with cooking. Okay, that's it. Got it. So just get that off. Okay, and now so we've added the three eggs. Um, we need to add some oil in here. So we're going to add seven tablespoons of vegetable oil. So this is my vegetable oil. So what was it? Tablespoons. Seven tablespoons. Seven. Why seven, I wonder? So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm going to just do a half on this one because I'll do seven. Okay, so we're adding oil in. So oil actually is good for cakes. A lot of you don't know it, but always add some oil to a cake. So what makes some of the best cakes in the world is using oil, uh, vegetable oil. Uh, and then we're going to add 75 or 
So add the oil, add five tablespoons of cold water. So cold water, I'm gonna run my tap a little bit. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four, And five. So five tablespoons of water, cold water, and seven tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay, now you want with a mixer or by hand, you're going to beat for five minutes. Sorry, five minutes or two minutes? So whisk with a mixer or by hand, beat for two minutes until the batter is is smooth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just add it in. I'm just gonna mix it first of all. So mix it. So we've got all that mixture in, just uh, bring it all together. And I always turn my bowl on a side, so it all helps it all come together. I do have a mixer. Shall I get the mixer out? Or you can just do it by hand. I might, I'm just going to do it by hand, because number one, not everyone has uh, mixers. and It just depends on how tough the, the, the batter is. You can just mix it in. It smells really good already. Look at all that. And now you can say you can add a little bit more water if it's a little bit too stiff. Hello, Demi. Demi, good to see you. Thanks for joining. So yeah, Melanie was on earlier today. I don't know if you saw her on. She was colouring uh, on Twitch. I was a little bit busy this morning, just trying to sort things out for the, the weekend. So, so, <laughs> it sounds like I'm going away for a week, but it's not, I'm not really, you know, it's just I like to take things with me that I think, oh, I can't. So let me know in the chat, in the comments, what one thing when you go on holiday do you take with you that that you wouldn't, you kind of use, but you don't, it's one of those things where you, you either use it or you don't, but you must have it with you like at all times. I think for me, it's probably my hairdryer. I've got to have my hairdryer with me. So let me know in the comments, what one thing do you take? Yeah, everyone's Paddy's saying hairdryer, Jay's saying hairdryer. So even if you were going, even if the hotel had a hairdryer, that's the one thing you would, you would want to take your own. Another thing as well that I nearly forgot is a comb. I know you ladies might use, not use our hairbrush or something. So we're just going to mix this for a couple of minutes. I'm actually going to have to unplug my phone anyway, because yeah, they're really, they're not that great, are they? The hair dryers in the hotel. So yeah, this hotel I'm going to tomorrow, where I'm staying tomorrow, it's, it's a really, it actually used to be called the Fernley Hotel and it's right opposite the, um, the beach. And it's right on the front, right where all the pier is, this pier. We'll go on the pier. I'll show you on there. And um, yeah, it, was a, it was a very prestigious hotel. And it, inside it looks amazing. They've got their own health spa. And I asked them, I said, do you have to pay extra for the, uh, the health spa? Obviously, there's certain treatments and things you have to pay extra for. Um, but they've got a swimming pool. They've got a sauna. They've got a... Um, What's the other one called? It's not a sauna, it's a, a steamer, like a steam room. So I'm really looking forward. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Literally, I'll be getting in there. I'll be getting checked in, show you around the room, and then I will be going into the pool. Now, you guys in America, and especially you, Patty, in uh, in Florida, you, you have pools, and it might not... It, that's like kind of like a norm, isn't it, in Florida? But for us, when, when we go on holiday, especially in England, to have a, an indoor pool in your hotel is pretty special. It's very it's quite rare, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Just a just a pampered session, a pampered day, and then the dancing in the evening. Because it's my birthday. It's not my birthday, my friend's birthday. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm just mixing this up. I'm just going to do it another another minute or two. 
I know it looks like something else, guys, so please don't point that out. You have a pool in your backyard. Well, Paddy, I'm coming to stay with you. <laughs> I will be in that all all the time. We're all we're all gonna go to Florida and we can all uh, we're all gonna stay at Paddy's in her pool. If if you need if you're looking for someone to clean your pool, Paddy, <laughs> you need a lodger. Oh, we'll come. I bet it's hot there. Is it hot? Because come on over, she says. Come on over. I'm on my way. I was so close to coming to Florida a couple of weeks ago because they had flights from Birmingham, you know, England, to um, when when we were talking about, it, weren't we, about going to um, Orlando. But I was watching a video of Orlando and some of the restaurants, there's some good restaurants and bars and places to uh, eat at. But a lot of people are saying the prices have shot up and then you're paying your tax on top for the food and then your tips. And there are some people going going out for a restaurant, going out for a meal, just for one person, or with a takeaway, not takeaway, um, fast food, and they'll pay nearly $20. That's like nearly 16, 17 pounds. You could get a three course meal here for that. And you don't have to tip. So that's just it's a bit pricey. <laughs> poor, poor boy Leeds, says Jay. Bless you, sir. You're coming to Leeds to uh, direct the Leeds Opera House. Right, I think that's done, guys. What do you think? Shall I do it a bit more? So it's nice and smooth. Yeah, it's actually gay. Make sure there's no lumps. What do we think, guys? Do you approve? What do we think? Can you see that okay? Well, this, that's not our culture, Jay. We don't do that here. It depends on which type of restaurant you go to. If you go into a place where you're going to spend maybe over £50 for a meal, then you're more likely to tip here. But if it's less than, say, even less than £10, people don't tip because we we're, we want fast food, but we have like really good street food. But we don't tip for anything under £10 here. So uh, if you're coming to England... And you do tip. A lot of people see it as an insult, actually. People, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've known some waiters who actually see tips as an insult. And do you know why it is? It's because a lot of the owners of bar, of like restaurants here in England are actually not owned by, let's say, uh, the, the more Indian restaurants. And then they don't actually pass the tips on to their staff because they already get a good wage. They already get like maybe 10, 12 pounds an hour or more. And then they get bonuses as well, remember? So um, if you do tip in England, make sure they get their tip because they don't share it out. The owner has the actual owner of the, the restaurant has a right to keep that tip. So you're technically not passing it on to the waiter. So just be cautious of that, guys, if you come into England, especially in London as well. But you're under no obligation to send any tips. You can send tips to me, obviously, for my my service. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, know, I understand that they do in America, they there's no sort of minimum wage, is there, that, which is really low, which you guys need to sort that out. You do. You need to. Uh, everyone needs to speak up about it. Why do you have that culture? You shouldn't allow it. You're one of the richest countries in the world, America. You do need to sort that out. So only you can do that. Right. So next thing then. Uh, have we missed something? Oh, no. Right. So next thing we're going to do the uh, that's that's nice and smooth. I'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to get our cake tin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some parchment. So I've got a little bit of parchment. Now, do we know the tips for doing this, doing a ring around? There is a way to do it. But guess what? <laughs> I ain't going to show you. I'm just going to do it my old fashioned way. There is a way to do it where you sort of fold it in half and then you cut round a ring and it's all nice and round. I'm just going to go around it like this. We do it the we do it the the, uh, the easy way, but there is a way to do it, and I'm not going to show. <laughs> okay, so just pop that in there, and you know how much to cut off. Okay, and you you don't have to have it so it's sticking out like that. You just let it drop. As long as it, because the mixture is just going to go in there anyway. So as long as it holds its uh, shape. Yeah, you do, you do, I'm afraid, you do. Okay, so what we're going to do next then is we're going to pour the batter 
into the prepared tin and bake in the center of the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to, first of all, put my Ninja on. Yes, we're going to use the Foodie Ninja and it's an American product. I absolutely love my American products. So let's uh, plug this in. I'm just going to unplug my phone. So it's charged up a little bit. I'm going to press my power button on and I've just realized I haven't cleaned my my dish. Look, so little tip for you. How do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of this oil? There's only one way you should get it out, and that is paper towels. Hey, Bernie, good to see you. So what I'm going to do is just empty this, this out. Sorry you're having to see this, guys. You could heat this up a little bit and then it will easily come off, but you're just going to get in there. Yeah, this is fat. What did I cook? I wonder, I can't remember what this is from actually. I think it's, what did I, what did I cook the other day? Steak, I think it was, but then I washed that. I can't remember what it was. I don't know what it was. It was something else anyway. Bernie's in the house. How are you doing, Bernie? So we're doing carrot cake. What is your favourite cake? Let me know in the comments. What is your favourite cake? And do you also have a local cake? Do you have a local cake that you, uh, you know, like a, lo a local sweet cake from your area where you live? Not just country, but area. Let me just rinse this down a minute. Do you have like a local cake? I know in Florida they have key lime pie, don't they? Then he says, I cook smoke. Oh, you did cook oh, smoke cod. That sounds nice, Ben. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, sir. So I'm just going to rinse. I've just rinsed this down. So this is the base of the Ninja. And whenever you like doing air frying or grilling, it just drips to the bottom tray, which is great. And it's non-stick. But obviously to use the Ninja with this in, you have to have this in anyway, so you can't just leave it like I did. And we're going to put the cake tin into the Ninja, into the, in, not the, not the uh, mixture, the actual cake tin into the tray, onto the tray, and it will then bake. So I'm just making sure it's nice and dry. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to press the bake function. Now it says if you've got a fan, which I'm probably going to have to check this because it says 30 minutes. I reckon it's going to take less time than that. So I'm going to put it on at 100 and it says 180 um, fan. 180 or 160 fan. 100, between 100, 180 and I'm going to put 170 if go in the middle. So put it on 170 on the bake function and it's going to go on for, I'm going to put it on for 25 minutes. So I'm just going to heat that up. So the Ninja is heating up. I'm just going to give this one more mix while it's heating up. It doesn't take long. We're going to add the mixture into the cake tin. Now you could probably do little cupcakes or do it into a square tin and then it just helps. It's just easier to uh, cut up. It smells amazing this though. Can't see it at the minute, but it looks amazing. I think my paper has fallen. So. And let me know in the chat, when did you last make a cake? When did you last make a cake? Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. I'm just going to empty the rest of the mixture in. Don't waste any. Looks like a chocolate cake, doesn't it? But it's this is a carrot cake. And then we're going to be making some buttercream on the top. So we're actually doing the whole cake today. Okay, that's enough. Who would like to lick the bowl? Bernie likes mud cake. You've never made a cake, Bernie. Right, that is your, your mission for over the next couple of weeks. You have to do a cake. So you see how it's just at the bottom there. It will come up fine, though, because I can lift it out, but it's not going to crumble or break up. 
so uh, it's quite it's quite a liquidy mixture. It's not it's not as uh, thick as I thought it was going to be. So this is going to take twenty five minutes to cook. But as I say, I think we're going to be making some buttercream. And the great thing about the ninja, where it's telling me to add the food in now, um, is it will tell me when it's done. So because it has a, a timer. So pour the mixture into the prepared tin, bake in the center of the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, I'm going to put it in for 25 and then check it. And then leave a couple of minutes in the tin once it's, once it's cooked. So in it goes, guys, in it goes. Say bye to the cake as it is in this current form. In it goes. Oops. <laughs> I should have, I just tapped it as well. And there it is, 25 minutes and counting, guys. Okay, so next thing then is our we're gonna do some buttercream to go on the top so i'm just wondering how long it takes obviously the cake's got to be cool actually so let's have a game guys let's lift you up let's have a game of i spy for we can do it for about 10 minutes or so so if you don't know the rules of i spy what we're going to do is we're going to go on an adventure and what i want you to do is give me a place anywhere in the world and then we will try and guess what I'm thinking, okay? Or what I see. So we shall start. Where should we start, guys? Uh, Jay says, I love a good mud pie from Louisville in Kentucky. I'd love to visit Kentucky. I'm going to try and read some of the comments as well. Bernie says, mashed potato, oh, ma mashed potatoes, <laughs> mashed potatoes, peas and beans, uh, chocolate cake. Oh, yeah, Paddy likes a chocolate cake with a glass of cold milk. Oh, I love a glass of cold milk. What's your favourite milkshake, Paddy? Bernie says, yep, yeah, got that one. Uh, I'm an honorary American now, says Jay. Oh, thanks, Jay. I'll be asking you to sign my papers. <laughs> uh, where is Mrs. Fa I don't know that, Jay. I actually don't know where she is. She was um, live earlier, so maybe she's just having a nap. Aiden leads for president, says Paddy. <laughs> Yeah, it's just shocking, isn't it, with the, um, do I tip? I, I only tip, as I say, when I'm, if I'm gone for, a, say, like a family meal, and everyone will tip together, but the meal has to be, it's mainly like a family meal, I will tip, um, or if I'm spending a certain amount, because you're going to spend £50, pounds, for example, on food. It doesn't hurt to add a 5 or £10 pounds as tips. So, um, but we never, I mean, we can't afford to tip every day. Every single meal, if you et, if you et out, because most um, food anyway has tax in it. It's baked up VAT. So um, what you're paying, it's like in America. I know when you go to buy something, even though I've never been there, and obviously you, you live there, you you then have to work out your tax, don't you? That's the problem in America. Well, which can be a bit of a shock to people who are not from America. Whilst over here, you buy things, and it's just the set price. So if you buy like a meal for say two or three pounds, that's all you're paying. And you can get food for two or three pounds, believe it or not. So you're not having to work out the extras. So, and then he says, yeah, tip, tipping's not compulsory there either. So it's just, that's, it's just better, isn't it, Bernie? I can't understand why America hasn't, why they do that. I really don't understand that. I don't understand that. But then it's like things here. It's like we have a, we have to pay a TV license every year, and that's by law. And if you don't pay the TV license for watching anything on um, on a screen, uh, you know, like terrestrial TV, then you will end up in prison. And the funny thing is, you could probably end up prison, and then you can watch TV for free in prison. It's just it's mad, isn't it? Absolute mad madness. Right, twenty one minutes. Um, let's make a start on this one. Make a start on this. One. I'm going to move this. Oh, we're going to do I Spy, weren't we? We should do a game of I Spy first. I Spy, guys. Where's my... Uh, let's make some room. Ah, dropping everything on the floor. So I Spy, we're going to... I'm going to... We're going to go to... Let's go to... Ooh, let's go to Melbourne, Australia. What did I Spy in Melbourne... Australia. I spy with my little eye something beginning with 
Or did I spy in Melbourne, Australia? Okay, not a Kiwi. Not, not the Opera House. Paddy? Keep guessing. What did I spy in Melbourne, Australia? That is going for Victoria, Victorian beer, not Victorian beer. Although I've never tried that. Is that quite nice, Bernie? Uh, Paddy's going for koala bears, not, not kangaroos. No, not koala bears. So I'll give you a clue. Um, ooh, your clue is... You can see these, but you wouldn't want to be up close to these. You can see these, but you wouldn't want to be up close to these. Hmm. Not koala bear, not MCG. And I guess it's not a kangaroo. Not a crocodile, Dimmy, but kind of. You, you're all on the right lines. It is a, it is an animal, not Tasmanian devils. Keep guessing. I need a small bowl. I'm just wondering for my next steps, guys. Not a snake, not Tasmanian devils. Keep guessing. Oh, I actually don't need, I don't, I thought I'd this, oh, we've got a correct answer. Dimmy, Dimmy, you are correct. Well done. The answer is a shark. It was a shark. So, well done, Dimmy, Dimmy. Okay, next one then. Um, where should we go to next, Dimmy, Dimmy? Your choice. Your choice. Where should we go next? But yeah, I don't actually need to use a, uh, <laughs> a, a, pan to melt the butter. I thought I needed to melt the butter, but I don't. You don't have sharks in Melbourne? Oh, I thought you had sharks in Melbourne. Um, la, 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 la. Never mind, Bernie. <laughs> okay, where should we go to next? Where should we go to next, Dimmy? Where are we going next? Should we go to... Let's go to England. Should we come to England? What did I spy? in England and let's go to the Lake District. What did I spy in the Lake District in England? In the state you do. Okay, Bernie. Okay. So in the Lake District in England, what did I spy? Not mountains. Not Big Ben, but uh, Paddy, you're close when you say to mountains. Yeah, that is a little bit of a clue. You see lots of these in the Lake District. Not the river. Not the tails. I hope this cake doesn't burn. It should be all right. Let me just grab a bowl. Get our bowl for the cream. Keep guessing, everyone. What did I spy in the Lake District? Not boats. <laughs> Although that was my first, my first thought, and I thought that would be too easy. Not boats. Not Stonehenge. No, that's in. That's in. Uh, where is Stonehenge? I think it's in uh, Somerset. Somewhere, just like Somerset. Not campers. Not cows. You're close when you said campers. So what did I spy in the Lake District? I'll give you a clue. After doing a lot of this, you would probably need some water. Not bungalows. After doing a lot of this, you would probably need some water. That's the one. Yeah, Jay. Stonehenge is near Bath, near Glastonbury. Not back, oh, not backpackers, but you're close. Hikers, that is the correct answer, Paddy. Well done, the answer was hikers. So 10 points go to Paddy, well done. Okay, where should we go to next? Let's 
Give someone give me a anywhere anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be in the world. It can be the moon, or it could be on Mars. Jay wants to go to LA. Okay, so we're going to go to LA. We just landed at the airport. We grabbed our luggage. We come out of the airport. What did I spy outside the airport? What did I spy outside the airport in Los Angeles? Not a taxi. Not palm trees. Not Prince Harry's children. <laughs> Good guess though. Hello, Melanie. Not snow. <laughs> Could be snow. Oh, I can't accept Bernie, I'm afraid, but you're so close. Who's going to get it? Not. If you could see Bernie's comment, you'll have to come on to Haps to see the comments. You're so close. Not a traffic jam. <laughs> Probably lots of traffic jams. Not Taurus. You're close when you say Taurus, but it's not Taurus. Not celebrities. You're close, though. You're all so, so close, actually. A fraction. Paddy Becker, well done. Yes, it was. People. I was looking for people. I can't accept tourists. Can't it? Because tourists are different to people who live there, and people who live there are different to celebrities. So the answer was people. Well done, Paddy. 10 points. Right, where are we going next? I know where we should go. We're going to go to Melanie Faye's house. So Melanie Faye, we're at Melanie Faye's house. We've just arrived. We arrived at the airport um, and we've got into a taxi. Bill's picked us up, brum, 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 and then he's dropped us off. And we just arrived at, we've just arrived for afternoon tea at Melanie Faye's house. What did I spy at Melanie Faye's house? And we've got 13 minutes left on the uh, Ninja. Not doggies, no, not books. Not doggies. Not the hubby. Keep guessing. Not the dogs. Not tea, not flowers. Not the colouring. Not a cup of tea. Not the nebulizers. <laughs> I bet Melanie's laughing at this. Not nebulizers. Keep guessing. Mel Melanie's got a head start, you know. Not felt pens. She's looking around thinking, what could it be? Not fell pens, not gel pens, not grass. I'll give you a clue. It was something, it's something that is fairly new. Not a chimney, not not a poem, not put, put, I can never say that word, poems, poems, not hats. It's something fairly new. Not pool, not pool, no, not a pool, not the walkway. Keep guessing. Not the fence. It's something inside. Just to let you know it's something inside. Well, your clue is it could kind of be outside. It's something that's inside but could be outside. Not the day bed. Not the furniture. So it's something inside that could be outside. Not a table. Is anybody going to get it? Do you want another clue? It's something quite bright. Not a plant, not a bong, not an umbrella. Keep guessing, guys. Let me get my... Uh... We need to do the, uh, the butter. You've got me stumped and I live here. <laughs> not candles. Okay, keep guessing. Unsalted butter. Not candle, but you're getting close. Okay, your clue is, what is it this weekend, and what do you typically put up at Christmas? Not a new chair. I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, Melanie Faye. But Paddy was second there. Paddy said Easter eggs, but the answer was the Easter tree. It was the Easter tree, which is looking fabulous, by the way. So well done, everyone. Well done, Melanie, particularly Melanie. Okay, next place then we're going to go to is... 
Which we go, we're going to go to Branson, Missouri. So what did I spy in Branson, Missouri? Yeah, we're, we're at Jay's house. It wasn't Jay's house, though, that we spotted. What did we uh, I spy at Jay's uh, in Branson, Missouri? Jay saying hillbillies, not hillbillies. Not Jay. I'll put you close. I'll be giving it away, I think. Not Jay, but we're, you're very close. I'm just going to uh, not cows. I'm going to weigh out my butter because I need 50 grams. Melly Faye, well done. You got it. Yes. It was Mama Opera. Mama Opera. So if you're there, it was Mama Opera. Let me, uh, where's my other little ball gone? There it is. So we're just going to do this buttercream. Uh, thank, uh, Jay, thanks for the awards. Thank you all for the awards. Do you want one more game? We have one more game. I don't know why. Look, I'm just, look at this butter. English butter. So let me just cut this off. It's going to be soft, then you see, because we need to mash it up. So I'm just going to break this up. Oh, not break it up, but kind of cut it up. It needs to be a bit more softer than this. So we're going to add 50 grams. I'm up to 30 grams already. So where do we go next? You want to go to Disney World. Jay says Disney World. So we're going to go to Disney World. Okay. What did I spy in Disney World? Okay, Melanie. Sorry to hear that. 40 grams. So what did I spy in Disney World? Not Mickey Mouse. Not Mickey Mouse. Take me ages to do this too. Keep guessing, guys. So if I read, missed any comment. Okay, 50 grams. Perfect, 50 grams. Not the castle, no. Not Cinderella's castle. Not Harry. Not Mickey Mouse. Not Donald Duck. We've got eight minutes left. I don't know whether to check the cake or not because it's. If I smell a burning smell, then I know it's definitely cooked. But got eight minutes left, so we're good. Not Snow White, no. Not not tourists. You guess it. I'll give you a clue. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with P. P. So something beginning with P. Not Paddy. Not Pinocchio. Not pizza, not Pinocchio. Keep guessing, guys. Not Peter Pan, not Princess. It begins with P. Who's going to get it? Not the Pope. J Opera, well done. Yes, it was Pluto. Pluto the dog. It was Pluto the dog. So well done, everybody. Okay. Right. So we're going to do the icing now because we've got seven minutes. I don't want to open the... Um... Did I put it on for 25 or 20 minutes? I can't remember. I think it was 25, wasn't it? It's meant to go on for 30, but I've turned it up to 170. So... Mm. Now I'm going to leave it. Let's leave it for the full amount of time, as it says, because it's quite... It was quite a runny mixture, so I'm guessing it's going to take a bit longer. Um, so it says, make the icing, put the softened butter into a small bowl and gently add the icing mixture. So what I'm just going to do here, let me... Uh, oh, good night, Bernie. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you, see you hopefully next time. So this is the butter. I'm just going to cut this up a little bit smaller. And I'm using a, a wooden spoon, but... It, it's, it has been in the fridge. It's meant to be really softened butter. Otherwise, it's going to be too lumpy. Um, you could maybe put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Just for it to soften down a bit. Or you can just... 
don't think that's going to really work, but this carrot cake smells amazing. Because it's all kind of just clumping together now, so. Oh, good night. Yeah, good night, Bernie. Thanks for joining. Hopefully you watch the replay and then you'll get to see the cake. Let's see. But this, the cake actually needs to, um, that's going to melt anyway, so. I just put my other butter away. It smells really good. So we're going to add the icing mixture to this. It's really going to be soft. I might. What I'm going to do is let, we'll check the cake. I'm going to pop this in the Ninja for... I won't put it on, but I'll put it in the Ninja. And... Uh, no, no, I won't put the machine on, but I'm just going to let the heat melt the butter a little bit when I open it up. So it will might heat the glass up a little bit, but it'll only leave it in there for about a minute just while the cake's resting because it needs to be cold, cool anyway. So we've got four minutes left. Jay saying, would mixed, I'll oh, say, Melanie says, Jay, would mixed herbs work in an egg mayonnaise? I, I, whenever I make mayonnaise, I uh, egg mayonnaise. I tend to add spring onions and something else I add to it as well. Yeah, mixed herbs. You can add herbs in there. So we've got four minutes left. Just let me. I wonder if I can mash this up a little bit. With a spoon or yeah, that might be better. <laughs> it's like. Softening down a bit now, so by doing this, it will melt a bit quicker. So, 50 grams of butter. There we go. Can you see that, guys? Paddy says you can make compound butter with marijuana and use it sparingly. <laughs> we, it's not legal though here, Paddy. Marijuana is not legal here. They're trying to make it legal, but it's not legal. <laughs> Have you, is that something you've ever had before, Paddy? Or are there a lot of people that use it? I mean, it's supposed to be good for. Um, there's like CB, CBD oils and things that people take, you know, for um, pain and things. Oh, it's not there. Okay. And there's some states, though, that are actually legal, I think. But if I heard that right. This is actually all right now. We're just letting the heat get to uh, the butter. It's nice. And look how soft that is. Can you see that? Look at that. I'll tell you a little story, actually. When I was, um, it was about 10 years ago, I think, and I went to a dance event, I went down for breakfast, and then I had these little, you know, the little butter sachets. Well, I, I put it in my pocket, and I completely forgot about it. Don't ever put butter in your pocket, because it went all over my, my phone at the time. And um, I think when I was wearing, like, green trousers, and there was this big sort of stain on the side of my pocket, it was quite funny. So I always think of that when I think of butter. Ah, that's looking really good now. So that's that. That's that. We're going to add in this icing sugar. And this is a vanilla. It's a vanilla icing. So let's add this in. It's ages since I've made a cake, isn't it? Get it all out there. We can't see it because of the uh, brightness. Still some coming out of that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is gently add the icing mix, incorporate it by, oh, bit by bit into the butter, and then add a, use a fork. Oh, well, never mind. So we use the back of the fork. 
If the burger is too stiff, you can add a drop of water. Beat until it's light and fluffy. So just slowly, just adding this in. Smells really good. Yeah, I should have added it in slowly, but never mind. We'll, do, we'll get there. I think I do need some water with this. Let's have a little bit of water. Oh, it's telling me it's done, so I'm just going to check it. Oh, wow, this looks really good. Get a knife. I think it might need to go in a bit longer, though. Yeah. Any knife will do. Oh, it's coming out clean. Would you like to see it, guys? Wow. Are you ready to see the cake? Hopefully it doesn't... Actually, that's really good. Move this out of the way a second. Here we go. Here's the cake. Here we go, guys. Look at that. So this is the carrot cake. That's got a good rise to it. That was... Oh, it's starting to sink a little bit. Oh. But I don't want it to be too dry in the middle if you know if you know what i mean it's starting to, oh, it's starting to sink a little bit it's crispy on the top i did check the middle wrong wrong knife oh broke oh it's a bit ah it's quite it's not too bad it looks a bit liquid inside but it's there's a little bit does it say, does it have to run dry? It says it's got to come out clean. You see, look. So, I've broken into it now. I'm going to put it on for five more minutes. I can probably, yeah, three more minutes, yeah. Let's put it in for three more minutes. And hopefully it won't deflate. So three more minutes. Should be all right. I'm going to put it on 170 again. And let's carry on doing this. So even though it's broken a little bit, it doesn't matter because the um, the cream is going to go over the top. Oh, yes, it's looking really good. Add a little bit more water, just a tiny bit. That's it. I think it needed hot water, not cold water, but because it's still a bit on the side. Go perfect. Put foil over the top to stop burning. It won't burn, Melanie. It's that's just that it's 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 nearly cooked. So three minutes is fine. Fine. Because I'm not using an oven, you see. I'm using the Ninja, so. Okay, that's perfect. That look at that, guys. Icing sugar. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we're going to put that over the cake once it's cooled down. So we might have one more game of Ice Spy. If you would like another game, shut that. So I've got one minute to go. It might be done now, actually. Yeah, another minute. 
It smells really good. Really good. Okay, so I'll well, just give it give it one, one more minute. Where are we heading to next? Where should we head to next? But yeah, this is the um, this is the cake mix. Jane Asher home baking carrot cake mix. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying a slice of this. Okay, we're gonna go to New York City. So New York City, what did I spy in New York City? Off we go. What did we I spy in New York City? Okay, not the Empire State Building, no, not Statue of Liberty. Okay, four seconds. Three, two, one. Not the Freedom Tower, no. Okay, let's go with that. I'm happy with that now. Very hot, as you can imagine. And I do actually have a rack to put this on. Not traffic, <laughs> not traffic. I'm going to put this on this rack so it cools down a little bit. Not Central Park, not Horse and Biggie. I'll give you a clue, it's something on the road, or near the road. Can't take this out yet. Oh, we can. So this is the cake, everybody. I know it's split a little bit. It doesn't matter, though. It's going to get cut up anyway. That looks really good. Not taxi, no. Not fire hydrant. Let's see, this is one of ours looks good. It's really hot, as you can imagine. So I'm just going to flip it up. That's come out really well. Not homeless people, no, not zebra crossing. Keep guessing. Oh, look at that. So think of something you would possibly go to in New York. Dimmy Dimmy, well done. Yep, it was a hot dog stand. Hot dog stand is the correct answer. So I'm going to, do I turn this over again? Oh, look at that. So that is it, guys. That is the carrot cake. It smells really good. Hey, ladies, Andrew, good to see you. So this is a carrot cake. I'm just going to let it cool down. Uh, I have inserted a knife to check. We put it on for an extra three minutes. But the reason it's split in the middle is just because I... Uh, we stabbed the carrot cake first to check it was cooked, but it wasn't. So, but this smells really good. Of course, yeah, because uh, Sandra, you lived in uh, New York, didn't you? So it was New York, uh, not New York, it was um, hot dogs. Okay, so next step then, well, I'm just going to charge my phone up again. Are you born there, were you, Paddy? Which part of um, New York were you born? And raised there. So this is going to take a few minutes to cool down. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not I could... Probably best not to... Even though it'll probably sink in the middle anyway. I'm probably going to be best to... Uh, to put it on... I'm going to have to wait 5 or 10 minutes. But it's, it's actually risen up really well. It smells, it's, it's like a loaf of bread, isn't it? In Brooklyn. All oh, right, wait, wait one second. Looks like a giant bagel, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, is that a bagel? It's a good cake. It looks really good. So let me just lift it up a bit. I think I can see me. 
So I just need to let it cool down now. But yeah, it looks like a giant, giant bagel. Mm. It, you can smell the cinnamon. But yeah, it's risen up really well. I'm really surprised how well it's risen up. Should we put the, let's, what's the best way to cool down a cake? Anyone know? We'll just do that for a couple of minutes. Let the air get to it. Put it in the fridge. <laughs> Good job there's a hole in the middle though, because it'll uh, cool down a, bit, a little bit quicker. Yeah, put it in the fridge. But then it might warm up my other food though, and I don't really want that, but unless I've got a certain part of the fridge. Do, do, this actually here, this um, this rack is for the Ninja, but I never used it. I also have, um, which we've, we've only done one, in fact I've not, not done it live, we've got these kebab sticks. These were sent free when I got the apron, the other apron, so we can do kebabs as well. So uh, if you've got a recipe for kebabs, let me know and we shall give it a try. But it'll obviously be next week maybe. So come on, carrot cake, cool down. Yeah, so tomorrow, so this is the plan for tomorrow. Uh, I set off about nine o'clock in the morning, get the train. I've got to change at a station. Uh, luckily, though, the trains that I'm catching are a different service to the other one because there's two services that you can catch from my train station. And uh, the one that the one that I'm catching is is fine. The other one is actually going on strike <laughs> over the weekend. So um, there might be mean that means much more people going on the other trains. So um, make sure I get my seat when I sit, you know, when I get on the train. Um, I should be there for about lunchtime. And then I got to go and get on a bus to uh, the where I'm staying, which is down the road. It's about five miles down the road. And then I'll just spend either, you know, drop my drop my luggage off and uh, go and explore the area. Really, that's that's the plan. Uh, and then check in in the afternoon because you can't check in till three o'clock, um, which at that point I'm going to then head straight to the pool. So I will be on. Um, I'll have to write down my uh, booking number for my hotel because whenever I come live, I'm always using battery power. So I, I, I need to make sure I've got plenty of you know, power. This smells really good. Let me just have a little taste of this cream. Oh my word, that is, oh, that is, that is proper carrot cake. Oh, that is amazing. This is good. This is good. Come on, cool down. It's still quite warm. I'm not going to blow on it. Don't worry. It's still quite warm. I wonder if I should flatten it a little bit, but yeah. Melanie says, I just made some egg mayonnaise. Oh, nice. No, I won't flatten it. Because I always see carrot cake. Carrot cake's usually flat. I've never seen really carrot cake that's, well, I don't know, I suppose it is. Kind of goes up to there, doesn't it? So shall I put it on now or shall I wait? What do you reckon? Do you think it'd be okay? Or shall I wait until it's cool? It smells so good. I should wait. Hmm, I wonder what else. Should we have another game of high I spy? So let's go to, we're gonna go to Barbados. We're going to Barbados. I'll wait, Barry. Yeah, just okay. I'll just wait. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to Barbados. What did I spy in Barbados? Money saying beach, not beach. No, keep guessing. It begins with the letter. Begins with the letter C. Not Rihanna, <laughs> although I knew everyone were going to put Rihanna. Not Rihanna. Not a mini moak. Not mini moak. Keep guessing. Keep guessing, guys. Not carnival. Not carnival. 
not crabs begins with c though you are you're getting close you're getting close not cocktails but you're very close melanie you're very very close not cocktails think of Ooh, I don't know. Think of something I've used recently. Think of something I've used recently, beginning with C. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. Yes. <laughs> so something beginning with C. Well done, Dimmy Dimmy. You got it. It was coconut. I prefer, I'd used coconut milk, didn't I? It's coconut milk that I used. It was coconut. So well done. Oh, this cream looks really good. I was wondering if it's going to actually uh, go over the whole of the cake. I probably could have done with another, another bag. But um, although saying that, I do have some purple icing as well that I didn't use. Do you remember when I was making the donuts? I do actually have a bag of purple icing. Shall I do some uh, purple one as well? Hmm. What happens if you mix purple and vanilla? Is it a vanilla icing that it was? Let me just check. Where did I put it? And it's by the same company as well. Yeah, purple icing. Like a light purple. Hmm. Or what I could do is cut the... Hmm. I could cut the cake in half and do half purple and half yellow. What do you think? A light purple, yeah, like a nice Easter colour. Shall I cut the cake in half and do half? Yeah, let's do that. I think that would work quite well. Yeah. So I'm going to have to cut the cake. Shall I cut the cake now? Yeah, shall I cut the cake now? So just so you know, it's only going to be half a cake. But the rest is going to get split up anyway. So let's cut into the cake and see what it's like in the middle. Are you ready? Oh, wait, she says. Right, let's do the icing then first. Let's do the icing first. I'm going to move the cake to one side. Let that cool down. Uh, I don't, oh yes I do, I don't really have. So we're going to do the same again, let's get some more butter. So I'm going to have to mash this down again, I think that's enough. Like cheese. Don't forget on not not this Saturday, obviously. A week tomorrow, we've got our haps. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know why it keeps falling down. That's really weird. Sorry, guys. Maybe I should tighten this up a little bit. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh, it's falling down now. I know why, it's because it wasn't tight. Oh, that's going to fall off now. Has that broke? Hopefully that's not... Oh, dear. Sorry, guys. It doesn't seem to want to hold now. Bear me just a second. I've got a little sticky bit, and it's... It, I think the heat... The heat and the steam has pulled it off, but it's still sticky. So as long as it's in the right place, it should hold it still. <laughs> Out your head, and let's lift this up. Oh dear! That's gonna fall off, I think some reason it doesn't want to hold it anymore but no it's pushing it out hmm i've got no because i've put my case in there see look let me just show you look look that's the stick a bit it's come off 
need some glue or something for that. Let's flip you that round. That's pushing it out. Let's see if I can take you out of my case. Sorry, guys. Let's see if it helps. It's not going to hold. Why is it doing that? I don't want to risk it because I don't want to smash my phone. But... Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? No, it doesn't even want to hold it in place. So I'm going to have to just... I wonder if I can... Pop you there a minute. Let's take this out. At least it gives the cake time to cool down, doesn't it? It's a bit mucky up there. Sorry, guys. That's better. You can see there, can't you, a little? Is that all right? You can still see it a little bit. I've got an idea. Because I was going to take this down anyway for the weekend. So this is the tripod, guys. And you pull the legs like that. That's why it's being wrapped around my cupboard. And then you can turn this round. They're only they're not expensive, these, they're just there for convenience, but now that's come off. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, I'll do it up, upside down. I'm just wondering if I'd have to go that way. Are you still there guys? Put a one in the chat. If you can hear me. I do it like that. It's the best way I'm going to do it. The bits coming off, yeah, that little, that little, little ball thing there. And you have to be so careful. Okay, good, good. All right, let's try this then. So I'm going to put you there. So hopefully it's, it will hold. Oh dear. I think I've done it the wrong way around now. Sorry, folks, thanks for staying with me, but it really doesn't want to hold it. It's no, oh dear. Let's try the other side. Sorry, guys, about this. This is just a bit of a nightmare. If I stick that bit on, it might work, unless something came off, but I'm not sure it did. Let's do it that way. You will see the final of the cake in just a minute. I think that's fine. Try it like that. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't hold, then it's pushing it out. It's actually pushing it out now. It's not actually um, going to even hold. So I will figure that out and see what happens. I'll just put you here for now, though. We'll figure that out in a minute. So I'll put you there. I'll try and put you there where you can see. Now right, let's try and finish this cake off. So butter, because I want to do the purple icing on the top. So I'm cutting into little cubes. There's about 20. Seagulls just came down and all large balls, peanuts and sunflowers in seconds. They've eaten them all in already. My goodness me. It's kind of a little bit more butter. Big piece of butter. Hmm, it's going to be interesting now. What am I going to use this weekend? <laughs> oh dear. 
Why do these things happen to me? Why do they, why do they make things that are not really designed to last? I'm going to get another fork, mash this up, add the icing. We'll do the purple icing. So here we go. So I'm just going to mash this up. I'll add a bit of, a bit of water to it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's that bit there. It's come off. So if I can glue that on, that might be okay. And then it might hold, but it's the fact it's pushing the um, the phone, and that was the problem. So it, it's still fine. It just needs sticking. Yeah. But it had really good reviews. It, it's a really good tripod. It's just that part of the tripod that's not the best. So... Let's add in the uh, mixture. It is uh, quite a lot in this. I don't know if I need it all. Yeah, it's quite a lot. It is quite a lot. I don't think I had that much. So we're going to make this now into a purple icing. A bit smoky. Wish you could see it, that's the only problem. I do have a I do have a selfie stick though, I can use that over the weekend, so Let's add a little bit of water to it. I don't want to stain my clothes. I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, you can see it when it's finished. Plus the cake needs to cool down a little bit longer. Uh, this is this is more like a you know it was meant for the donuts. So should be okay. Uh, I actually I think this was you meant to um, put it in the microwave. Should be all right. Oh, it's on it. It's all the same, isn't it? Icing. It's just because it was meant to be more runny for donuts. But it's coming together. I need a bit more water though. A bit more water. long as it doesn't start dripping down somebody's hand. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Okay, it's coming together now though. Just concentrating. It's a lengthy process, isn't it, doing cakes? I'm not using a glass but a bowl to do this, just a plastic cup. I think I've added too much water in this now. Do you want to see? It looks like some sort of experiment has gone wrong. Giving it a good mix. It's going to be good. Just making sure there's no lumps. 
It's really good. So we've got the purple and the yellow. Let me put the butter away. Right, how are we doing? I'm getting flour everywhere. I don't need all that. Actually, let me mix some of that in. It's a little bit more. Because maybe that's why it was quite thick. I mean, too runny, sorry, too runny. That's nah, getting a bit better now. a bit too runny. So I'm going to add the rest in. Gives it that really dark purple colour. That's it. Oof. Getting nice and sugar. It's a really good colour, isn't it? It's going to be so sweet. <clears throat> so sweet, though. Which you could see from the top. I don't know if some of it's fell out actually, but no. I feel like I'm doing like a science experiment. That's much thick, thicker now. I might end up making some more cakes and then using the icing on the top do some, uh, not chocolate cake, but normal cake, flour, eggs. Okay, that looks that's really good. Let me just show you. So here we go then. We've got our purple icing sugar and the vanilla butter, butter, butter cream. Look at that. Let's flip that you around. Don't know where to put you now. I'll just keep you there for now. Oh dear. I wonder if it goes landscape. Will it will it work in landscape? Oh, I can't do landscape, can I? Let's see if I can just do it one more time. No, it's not going to work. Hmm. I don't know where to put you now. <laughs> I don't know where to put you. <sighs> Let me go and get a tripod or something. Sorry, guys. Oh, is that all right there? Right, so we're going to do the decorate. Let's cut the... So here's the icing. We've got the purple icing and the vanilla. And I'm making a mess. So now we're going to take our cake. Here's the cake. And we're going to cut it in half. And what you're going to see inside. Here we go. Oh, look at that. How good does that look, guys? Oh, that smells so good. It's a bit like a carrot bread, more, but it's there's a little bit in there, but it's meant to be like that, so you get that sort of... Uh, it's not too dry. So now we're going to decorate the cake. I'm probably best putting some uh, something underneath. I don't know, like paper or something. Or else I'm going to make a mess. Some foil or something. Just so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so it's time for decorating time. I wish you could see this now because 
Oh dear. I'm getting flour everywhere and it's... I don't like kitchen that has loads of flour on. So I don't know, I want to be able to show you this. But can I get... I might need to prop you up. Oh, I could do, yeah, I could have some... Uh, I've got some, uh, what are they called? They're American sweets. Um, Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's. So let's put on the uh, buttercream on the smaller one. On the top. I wish you could see this. I will show you at the end of a uh, butter knife or a palette knife. I'm going to decorate. Not the best at doing this part, but this looks amazing. Got a little bit left. Or some green coconut. I'm not getting any green coconut. I don't know. Oh, this looks so good. I'll be having a slice of this soon. I'm just using it all. I've never made carrot cake before in my life, so this is a first for me. Hopefully it's, um, hopefully I've done it right. And some of it's actually uh, falling into the middle. But it's covering up them cracks. You know the cracks I'm talking about. So this is the first one. I can't, I'm not going to move my phone otherwise it will... Uh, there's the first one. Okay, now we're going to do the second one. Let that set a little bit. Yeah. This could be a little bit more gloopy. Yeah. Look at the colour on that. I actually haven't made a mess. This has even got, this is for lemons, but you can use it for icing sugar, so you just you just pour it out. Yes. Ready, ready, watch, watch, watch. Oh, yes. Oh, it's falling, it's falling. This is what I, this is what I mean. Uh, oh, no, I'm getting, I'm even, I'm getting splashes of um, the purple icing on the normal one, so Maybe I can have like a multicolored effect. Oh my god, you want to see this? this is such a mess. <laughs> it's... I'm going to do like a like a pattern effect. Shall I do it? Just little drops. Drop. Drop. Like a little polka dot thing. Like a spotty cake. Spotty cake. It's like the Great British Bake Office. This could win the Showstopper Challenge. Oh my word. <laughs> you gonna see how much icing sugar is on this. I definitely don't need any more than that. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Can you see this, guys? Look, uh... Oh, it's... But at least it's covering it all the cracks over. It looks so good. Mmm. I'm going to lift this up without... Okay, look. We can put the two together now. Push it up and it'll help stick it back together. There we go. Oh, I've got loads of. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's 
So maybe I could do like a little effect. We've got like a, got an idea, like a straw or something like this. Yeah, I've messed it up now. Never mind though. Let me take a little just dab, dab. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. It looks a mess. It's mm. As I say, that's what it looks like in the middle. An Easter carrot cake egg. Oh, actually, I've just yeah, let's put some of them little things on. So put in the chat what colours I should put on there. Let's... Oh. I do actually have uh, fruit pastels. Put some fruit pastels on. I do actually have some cream eggs as well. I go, in fact, I think I'll go for the cream eggs, the chocolate cream eggs. Oh, I've got some uh, buttons. So I've got some for the Cadbury's, because I've got loads of Cadbury's chocolates here. These are the ones, the twisted. These are Cadbury's cream egg. So you can pop these on the top. See what they look like. So we'll put these on the top. So I usually save them for. Or you could put on, uh, got some Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, it's just slipping. This is these are falling down. I'll put two on there, two on each one, and then I'll do the rest with buttons. Put one right in your mouth. Sending you some. I'll do the buttons now. You want to see this, don't you? I've not got many left, I'm afraid. You like my cake? Oh. I hope you like the cake. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. So now I need to cut a slice, don't I? Which one shall, shall I cut this a slice of this one off? So let's get my knife and let's take a slice. And we're going to test the cake. Let's get a plate. One minute. Okay, let's have a little taste of it then. I know it's not really set that much, but where's my little knife gone? So I'll cut this into slices and then I will pop them in some foil and then into a box and then... Ah, oh, it's just dropped everywhere. <laughs> oh, never mind. 
it looks a mess but it's not i promise you that so let's have a little slice Hmm. Okay, let's have a little taste. So I want you to give it marks out of 10. Carrot cake. Here we go then. Oh, oh it's nice and soft in the middle. It's always a good sign. Hi Monica, we've just made some carrot cake. So here we go. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that works so well. I'll show you in just a second, Monica. That is... The icing sugar's gone a bit wrong. I'm not the best at doing icing sugar. But that doesn't matter because it's going to go in the fridge and uh, it will be wrapped up. But that is so light. And the cream, the, the buttercream, just gives it that slight sweetness. Then we've got a little chocolate Cadbury's cream egg called Twisted with the cream egg, look, the cream egg mixture in the in the in the chocolate. Hmm. Oh, this is a dream. This is absolutely delicious. That is, this is so good. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm just going to show you a cake for Monica. So here we go, Monica. We've got the purple icing side, and then we sort of did the vanilla cream. We realized there weren't enough. So what we decided to do was use the leftovers from the donuts. It was originally for donuts. And, um, we put that on that side and had more vanilla cream, but then we mixed it in. So that is it, guys. And I've made a mess there, but as I say, this will be get cut up into portions. Happy Easter, everybody. That's all I'm going to say. So thank you for coming on or watching, apart from the issues I had with the, uh, the tripod. Thank you all for your awards. Thanks for sharing, everybody. And um, I shall have a great Easter. Um, whatever you whatever you're up to and i'll be on i'm sure over the weekend so i shall see you then probably tomorrow so don't get melanie is on tonight 9 p.m uk time thanks for coming everybody i'll leave with that that image we push them up a little bit oh. mm. so see you soon guys you too everybody have a good easter take care bye